Hey, this is Jim with Power Equipment Direct, your pressure washer expert. So today I want to talk about how to pick the perfect pressure washer. So let's talk about why you want to get a pressure washer. Why do you really need one? You can use them all over the house. They come in handy a lot more than you think. You can use them for cleaning your sidewalks, your decks, your garage floor, your siding, your gutters, you can clean your car, you can clean your grill, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. And let's talk about curb appeal. You want to sell your, your car, your business, your home, pressure washer is going to help you make that nice and clean and add a few more bucks into your pocket. Alright, so we're going to talk a little bit about different types of pressure washers that are available. Right now we've got them set up side by side so you can visually see the difference on these different models here. Again, we have electric, consumer gas and professional gas. We've got a Briggs electric pressure washer. It's rated at 1800 PSI, 4 GPM max on the flow rate. We've got a BE 3100 PSI, two and a half gallon a minute. Your standard GC Honda engine on there. Your Pressure Pro uh, belt drive. It's going to be a professional model. It's got a professional grade engine on it. And again, lower cost, medium cost, higher cost, lower pressure. So you're only doing about 1800 to 2000 PSI with most of your electrics. Again, you're going to use that for washing the car maybe doing some sidewalk work, maybe doing the, the siding a little bit. It's going to take longer because it's a lower PSI. They're pretty basic. What you see here, the wheels are going to be plastic. Again, you're going to get what you pay for. Uh, again, what you're paying for, you get a good product, uh, but it's limited in its use. On your basic gas, you're getting a higher pressure. Uh, you're getting a gas engine, obviously, so more power, more pressure. Not as much flow, but the pressure is really going to be doing the job for you. You can see again on this one too, the frame is pretty basic. Uh, the wheels are going to be plastic wheels. Uh, they get around, they do well, they do the job. Uh, again, for your basic consumer uses. Uh, maintain it, take good care of it. It'll last you for many number of years. And again, on the professional, you can see the construction on that frame. Uh, it's really built with the heavy duty steel. Professional grade, triplex pump. Again, it's belt drive. The wheels are much heavier duty, larger wheels. Uh, never flat tires, so uh, they're never going to go flat on you. Um, it's built uh, for a higher PSI, 4,000 on this particular model, 4 gallons per minute. Again, the belt drive is going to be for your uh, jobs where you're running that thing continuously for at least 2 to 3 hours at a time on a job. So some of the benefits of an electric unit, they're going to be quiet, they're inexpensive, and they're useful. The problem with the electric units is if something breaks on it, uh, generally you're throwing the machine away and buying a new unit. Uh, a lot of the accessories are for the electrics are proprietary. So you have to buy their specific adapters and fittings and accessories for them. Whereas with a gas unit, they're much more powerful. If you're going to use them more often, you want more power. You want to get up over 3,000 PSI to do a better job on your siding or on your on your sidewalk or deck. Gas is going to be the way to go. Nine times out of ten, if something breaks, it's going to be replaced. If a pump goes out, you can buy a new pump and put that on there at a nominal cost. The fittings are pretty easily accessible. All your hoses and accessories are going to fit pretty much the same way. So they're going to be a lot more economical in that respect and much more versatile. There's going to be some maintenance involved, uh, but they are definitely more powerful. They're going to be more effective and you're going to go a longer way with that gas pressure washer. It's going to save you money in the long run and you get a lot more done with it. Is PSI or GPM important? They both are. If you're looking to wash and clean really dug in dirt or really stained uh, areas, you want that pressure. You want pressure to do the job for you. The amount of flow or the gallon per minute uh, is the volume of water behind that pressure is also going to aid in cleaning your surface much faster as well. A lot of people now get into soft washing, which means you're using a lower PSI but a higher flow rate, a higher GPM. So you're not damaging anything. It's going to be a soft wash, but it's going to be a good 1500 to 2000 PSI with a good amount of volume of water behind that or GPM to provide that washing. Those are some important things you want to look at. We also list cleaning units on the website. That's basically multiplying the PSI times the GPM to give you a number that gives you an idea of how fast you might clean a job. So the higher the number you're looking at, the faster you're going to do a job in cleaning whatever you're working on. All right, so let's talk about portability. You can use these guys in the front yard, the backyard, the side yard. You can throw them in your truck. You can take them to your cabin out in the woods. You can take them to your dock and do your boat. You can do your RV. You can do your siding. As long as you have gas or electric and you have a water source, you're good to go with these. All right, let's talk about saving money. A lot of people will rent these units and they'll use it for one or two things around the house. Uh, you're paying a fair amount for renting. You don't know what you're going to get. You don't know what kind of condition that unit's going to be in when you rent it. Renting two or three times, by the time you do that, you could have bought a unit. You know what you have to work with. You can use that in multiple things around the house. Yeah, you might start off by cleaning one or two things. Your sidewalk, your deck, your driveway. 
And before you know it, you're going to be washing all kinds of stuff with it. You're going to find uses all over the place. Your gutters, you're doing your cars, and you're going to be the envy of the neighborhood. So you're going to use it a lot more than you think you're going to use it. After all this great information we've provided for you today, you're still on the fence, you're still not sure what you want to look for, go to pressurewashersdirect.com slash best and you'll find all the recommended pressure washers, all the best accessories, everything else you need to know is going to be right there for you to check out. If you're still not sure, feel free to give us a call. We're here to help you.